Good evening once again. Welcome to Devotional. I am so happy for we just uh, finished the seven days of prayer. And what a beautiful testimony. What an inspiration. It gives the good, good feeling inside. Because God, you know what? Our God takes good care of our emotions. I know some of our mem- members probably have been through a lot you know with this COVID pandemic discouraged despair frustrated they don't know what to do but with joining together it gives power there is power in unity there is power in prayer and because what makes it powerful is the presence of God and I thank every single one of you who has been so faithful in joining the seven days of prayer I hope to see you again next time when we have things like this and we can gather together as a church praying together there is truly power in prayer now before we continue on I invite you to please pray with me let us pray Father in heaven, Lord God, we just want to pause for a moment, O Lord, thanking you for all the benefits you've given to us. You are a keeper of promises. You love us and you have been so faithful to each one of us. O Lord, as we meditate upon your word tonight, may you give us wisdom and understanding. Help us, O Lord God, to remember them. And thank you so much for hearing us. In Jesus' name, amen. My God, the keeper of promises. Joshua 21 verse 45 Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed, but every one was fulfilled. Our God is ever faithful and loving and a keeper of promises. His promises were made even at the time of Abraham. Since then, many years have passed, yet he remained true to the promises he made to Abraham. Joshua and Israelites now enjoy the promised land after all the challenges that they have been through. All the tribes received their land and settled with their families, thanking God for all his goodness and mercy to each one of them. Verses 43 to 44 states that the Lord gave Israel all the land he had sworn to give their ancestors and they took possession of it and settled there. Now the Lord gave them rest on every side just as he had sworn to their ancestors. Not one of their enemies withstood them. The Lord gave all their enemies into their hands. This is amazing my friends. God could have let go of the Israelites long before they settled in the promised land. Why? because of their hard-headedness and stubborn hearts but he didn't he remained true and faithful to them until they were finally fulfilled in joshua's time he promised victory over the hands of their enemies he promised them the land of milk and honey they possessed the land not because of their abilities and talents but because of god whom they served He is truly a keeper of promises. He is the same God we serve now. Claim His promises from the Bible and He will fulfill them in accordance to His divine will and purpose. Our God will not forsake us. He gives, He protects, He sustains. We just need to believe. Let us pray. Father in heaven, Lord God, what a powerful message, O Lord, of your faithfulness. Many times we failed you. But you remain faithful, O God. O Lord, thank you also for being patient to each one of us. Father, forgive us. And help us, O God, from here onwards to really um, obey you, to trust you. And to fulfill, O God, the purpose that you have for for us in our lives. Bless our families that we are present, O Lord. Continue to protect us against COVID-19. Protect us from the snares of the enemies of God. Help us not be discouraged or be dismayed, but to always put our full trust in you. Thank you for your grace, mercy, and love, and for hearing us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much once again. May the Lord God bless you. May the Lord protect you, sustain you in every possible way. God, God bless you. I hope to see you again tomorrow night. Bye-bye.